Hey guys, should we now worry about Vesuvius? Is this shifting from Campi Flicri towards Vesuvius? Or should we worry about both of them? If you want to have more background information about that, check out my video that I just released about Campi Flegri and Vesuvius and whether they are connected. And uh, I want to talk about this in this video too. But, you know, first, let's have a look at what I think is unusual and what I haven't seen in that way since I'm covering Campi Flegri and I'm also covering Vesuvius. You know that because they're so close together. I mean, Naples, more than 3 million people are basically enclosed by Vesuvius and by Campi Flegri and both are rumbling. But recently everyone's worried about the potential supervolcano Campi Flegri. I mean, that is a volcanic area that is not as obvious as, as Vesuvius with this huge crater. Campi Flegri spreads out over 100 kilometers. But have a look at this list of earthquakes. And usually when we look at these lists of earthquakes, it's like Campi Flegri, Campi Flegri, Campi Flegri, another Campi Flegri earthquake swarm, and then one isolated Oh yeah, Vesuvius had a 1.0, had a 1.2. So, but we haven't seen any like earthquake swarm like stuff happening at Vesuvius. It's always dominated by Campi Flegri and isolated Vesuvius incidents. But if you look at what has been going on the last few days, you see here Vesuvius is quite present in that list and it seems Vesuvius kind of had its own earthquake swarm. And remember, this list only shows you the earthquakes that are magnitude one or higher. So it seems the earthquake swarm, if you want to call it that, for Vesuvius started on September 8th. And then there was September 8th, 1.2. September 8th, 0, and not 0, 2.0, and then another 2.0, which is in the higher range compared to what we have seen from Vesuvius the last few months. So two in a row, and then it was going even into September 9th with another 1.6. And right now it seems quiet the depth of the earthquakes if you look very very shallow one kilometer zero kilometers and then of course we also see Campi Flegre in that list that still on a regular base keeps rumbling but also 1.7 Vesuvius on September 4th then August 31st so it seems it's getting a little bit more and many scientists say Vesuvius is overdue. And the thing with Vesuvius is, um, one thing that you have to know, since Vesuvius is basically that tall mountain with this impressive crater, this is really what you would think of if you think of a volcano and it's it's dominant if you're in Naples or Pozzuoli along the coastline or in the city you see Vesuvius that is dominating the views in these areas and what you also have to know because here we come to the topic of tourists again right the crater of Vesuvius is the second most visited tourist attraction in this region, in the Campania region. And uh, it has recorded, not through the pandemic, but before that and now 700,000 visitors in one year only. So that's why the locals and also tourists, they say Vesuvius is the symbol of Naples and it's known throughout the world. I mean, we all know Vesuvius destroyed Pompeii and Herculaneum in its eruption phase, right? Um, but despite the danger and despite the catastrophic results that Vesuvius eruptions have caused, um, tourists flock there. They want to see the crater. They want to visit the summit of the volcano. Um, and many wonder, and there's discussion, why is Vesuvius not being declared a World Heritage Site, for example? Well, it is not, 
Um, it has its own management. The area is managed by the Vesuvius National Park Authority. And uh, this is an interesting side story that that authority should be responsible to guaranteeing access to the crater area and also provide services for tourists. But it seems there have been a lot of scammers and it seems like tickets, you have to purchase these tickets and then they're sold out, you can't get any. And then you know how like with concert tickets, there's scammers that, that up the ticket prices. So if tourists come there and they can't get a ticket, they have to pay up to 40% more to get to Vesuvius. But you know, um, in light of these recent earthquakes, would you even consider going up there, hiking up there? Let me know in the comments, guys. But what we also know about Vesuvius, there's roughly 700,000 people living in the direct area around Vesuvius, a little up the crater as well. They call this the red zone of Vesuvius. And what the scientists are saying, if Vesuvius erupts, this red zone, it's like a wasteland immediately. There's no running away from it. That's why a few years ago they tried to convince people to move out of the red zone. They offered them 30,000 euros, like 40,000 US dollars, something like that, to move away, but there weren't many takers. So <laughs> does it make a difference whether you're right on the crater when it happens or living down there somewhere? Um, nope, not really. For tourists, yes, it makes a difference because they don't live there, so they don't have to go there. So they're taking a risk somewhat, right, to go up to Vesuvius and look into that crater, although it's an impressive sight. I can't deny that, but also scary in my opinion. So what can we make out of these earthquakes? Is magma on the move? Is Vesuvius trying to get ready? Is this connected to Campi Flegri? I mean, we kind of know that if there are really, really big earthquakes, let's say in, in, in the case of an eruption of Campi Flegri, that would come with high magnitude earthquakes and repeated earthquakes, a big earthquake swarm, that this is not ruled out that it could trigger Vesuvius. But is this related now that both are rumbling? There's many theories that Vesuvius and Campi Flegri are connected through a magma chamber. Some say they are, some say they aren't. So if they are connected, it would have to be a deeper lying magma chamber, a magma reservoir, because just a few months ago, they did find out that Campi Flegri has a magma chamber that is quite shallow at only 4.5 kilometers of depth. So magma has already risen from a deeper magma reservoir into that, has created that shallow magma chamber underneath Campi Flegri. So Vesuvius is not fed from that shallow magma chamber. And scientists also know the shallow magma chamber underneath Campi Flegri, the magma already has an explosive state. So that's why Campi Flegri could erupt with little to no warning time. That makes it scary too. But you know what we're seeing at Vesuvius? Let me know how concerned are you about this? If we look at a longer time frame, so we can say if you look at that list in the past seven days, Vesuvius had seven quakes of up to magnitude two, two with magnitude two. And then let's look at the past 30 days. Vesuvius had 77 quakes of magnitude up to 3.7. So there was one quake above magnitude three. That is quite significant, 3.7, right? And then 67 quakes below magnitude two and nine quakes between magnitude two and three. So not only micro-seismic quakes, not only small quakes. And uh, if we look at the overall number of earthquakes per year, it's steadily going up. 
So it has been rising if we compare it to from 1980 up to the current state, it is going up. So is this a trend? Is Vesuvius slowly getting ready or not? It is hard to tell. Also, the earthquakes that exceed magnitude 3 over the decades is going up, not as significant as the magnitudes that are below 3, but it is also going up. So is magma rising to the surface? Question mark. With volcanoes, if we see earthquakes, usually something is happening, something's rising. Is it magmatic fluids? Is it magma? Is it something else? Usually, the chances that it's magma rising up um, are quite high, right? And you know, if we look at that current list and we say, we could call this a small earthquake swarm. And the large one, the 3.7, that's not so long ago. That's just 12 days ago. So 3.7, we'd be quite concerned if that was Campi Flegre. And we know Campi Flegre on a regular base now has these earthquake swarms with the larger ones, 4, 4.4, 3.7, 3. something, right? So now Vesuvius shows things like this. But we have to be careful with what we're saying, because if we have a closer look at in many areas of the world where we can see an increase in earthquakes, is this really because there are more earthquakes or did they build more seismic measuring stations to better follow a global seismic activity? Um, so sometimes it's not that the number of earthquakes is increasing but that the seismic networks are getting better so is this the case for vesuvius i don't know because vesuvius the surveillance of vesuvius is quite good and has been quite good so um we can't say that vesuvius in the last few years didn't have any seismic measuring stations it did have so in my opinion yes i think the earthquakes are getting more definitely are they getting larger a little bit i would say so I will follow up what's going on with Vesuvius, guys. And if you're new here, I urge you to subscribe because very, very shortly, I will release a video that will give us a mind-blowing insight about what really happened when Pompeii was destroyed by Vesuvius. There are new changing findings and I want to tell you this in a separate video, so watch out for this. Click the notification bell so that you're always informed. Thank you, guys. I see you. Bye-bye.